start with Astro Logos, Theresa's biophysical support battlesuit. Her leader skill increases the critical rate of teammates for 10 seconds after they use a charge attack. It also increases the total damage dealt by teammates if all three members are of different types. Her basic attack is ranged and has four sequences. Hits from the first two sequences restore an additional 0.6 SP at a 0.5 second cooldown. Hitting enemies with the third sequence restores 120 HP and 4 SP to the team at a 6 second cooldown. By holding the attack button on the third basic attack sequence, Starlight Astro Logos will be able to use her combo attack. She can hold the attack before releasing it, and the timing at which the attack is released will affect her in different ways. Releasing it early will deal its base amount of 400% of her attack in physical damage, and releasing it late will cause her to lose her balance after the attack. The right timing is indicated by a glow that will appear on Starlight Astro Logos. Releasing the attack at the right time will trigger Perfect Cast. A Perfect Cast combo attack gains an additional 10 SP and deals more physical damage. At each rank, a new SP skill can be learned to further enhance Perfect Cast. At S rank, Starlight Astro Logos will receive a buff that increases her own total damage by 22% for 40 seconds and can be stacked up to 2 times. At the S rank, Perfect Cast combo attacks will stun enemies for 3 seconds with an 8 second cooldown. And finally, at Triple S rank, an extra 15 SP is gained in addition to all other bonuses. Innately, her combo attacks deal an additional 30% physical damage. While channeling the attack, she takes 60% less incoming total damage. She then takes 40% less total damage when performing the attack itself. When an ultimate evasion is performed, a global time fracture is activated for 2 seconds. Tapping the attack button immediately after her evasion skill is used will trigger a combo attack. Using her evasion skill also grants her 3 bonus SP. In addition, a formation lasting 12 seconds will appear at the point the evasion was performed. When a teammate steps into the formation, a global time fracture will be activated for 2 seconds. The formation takes 3 seconds to turn active and cannot be triggered by Starlit Astro Logos herself. In situations where evasion skill cooldown reduction is equipped, one thing to note is that two formations cannot be on the field simultaneously. The new formation will replace the existing one on the field. By consuming 125 SP, Starlight Astro Logos can use her ultimate skill, 8 formations, summoning a giant tornado, gathering enemies, and dealing physical damage in a wide area. Her ultimate skill can buff the team's physical damage, lower their incoming total damage, and increase their resistance to interruption. At double S rank, the damage of the ultimate attack itself can be innately increased. With her passive ability, Starlight Astro Logos enables teammates to gain 1 hexagram stack with every attack that hits. This ability has a 1 second cooldown. Stacks are shared across the team, and getting hit removes 1 stack but at a 3 second cooldown. If an ultimate skill is performed by a teammate, 5 stacks are gained but with a cooldown of 10 seconds for the entire team. With 10 stacks accumulated, Starlight Astro Logos' QTE can be triggered. The 10 stacks are consumed, and she's summoned onto the field to perform an attack that deals physical damage in a small area and boosts the team's critical rate by 15% for 15 seconds. If she has 125 SP and her ultimate skill is ready when her QTE is triggered, she can perform her ultimate skill by tapping on her switch in icon again. When triggering her QTE, the Valkyrie on the field does not get switched out. Even though she is not technically switched in, attacks done by Starlight Astro Logos during her QTE count as direct attacks and can apply debuffs and buffs from Stigmata. In addition to all her abilities, Starlight Astro Logos herself gains additional critical rate as the combo count increases. Like other Theresa battlesuits, she has the innate ability to start the battle with increased initial SP. Unlike other Theresa battlesuits, she can upgrade this ability depending on her rank up to as high as 50 initial SP. Starlit Astro Logos is extremely versatile, and being the first Valkyrie with a QTE that allows her to be on the field simultaneously with the DPS, her ability to support the team is on a different level when compared to other supports at this point in the game. 
Fundamentally, being a physical support, her signature weapon naturally brings out the best of her support capabilities. Zither's Lament increases the physical damage dealt by ultimate attacks or attacks dealt in burst mode for the entire team. Additionally, on Starlit Astro Logos, the weapon provides an innate 20% attack speed bonus. Its active skill deals physical damage and lowers the movement speed of enemies in a wide area while boosting the team's movement speed and physical damage for 13 seconds. In addition, when her ultimate is cast during her QTE, the weapon active skill from Zither's Lament will also be activated automatically. The weapon will not be deployed during the QTE ultimate, however, if it was deployed by Starlit Astro Logos herself within the past 20 seconds. One notable property of Zither's Lament is that the active skill does not consume SP. Though it does not generate SP for her when deployed, the 11th Lator Gia still makes a great support cross. Not only does it deal damage to enemies in a wide area, it increases the critical rate of allies in its area. It also slightly increases the SP gained by the team from their basic attacks. Naturally, the 11th Sacred Relic can be an alternative for players who haven't broken through the level limit. Her signature stigmata set, Shui Jing, provides passive and active buffs for both the entire team and the host herself. The T part provides teammates with an 8% physical damage increase when the host is off the field. When the host's QTE is triggered, an additional 8% will be added for 8 seconds. If the 2 set ability is available, the duration will be extended to 12 seconds instead. The M part provides additional physical damage to the host and increases the shield damage done by the host's QTE. The B part sends enemies hit by the host's QTE into a censored state, causing them to deal reduced total damage and take 18% more physical damage for 8 seconds. The duration of the censured state is increased by 4 seconds when the 2 set ability is available. The 2 set ability also innately increases the host's total damage. And finally, the 3 set ability grants a 20% total damage boost to the host and the Valkyrie on the field for 18 seconds after the host uses an ultimate. It also provides Starlight Astro Logos with a 40% critical damage bonus. Alternatively, Gustav Klimt T and M with Isaac Newton B also work extremely well with Starlight Astro Logos, especially if she is equipped with Zither's Lament. The ability to deploy Zither's Lament while keeping the main DPS on the field allows the main DPS to make full use of both Gustav's active ability and Isaac Newton's debuff. Both her QTE and her ultimate, which count as direct hits, allow her to use almost any combination of support stigmata, including, but not limited to, any two parts from, or the entire Cullen Him, Beethoven, or Fulhorn Margrave sets, and the standard Tesla Band T, May Beach Party M, and Isaac Noon B for single targets. With the addition of Shui Jing, Tesla Band T can be replaced with Shui Jing T for a slightly higher physical damage boost. Cost-effective yet still powerful options include any two parts from the Fuhua Musician set or Fuhua New Year T with Theresa New Year B and either Beethoven or Gustav Klimt M. If neither are available, a cooldown M piece like Theresa Origins could be useful. Alternatively, the Homu M part could also help in places like the Memorial Arena where the ability to pick SP backs up from a longer distance can be extremely helpful. Even though she is fundamentally a physical support, Starlight Astro Logos at the point of her release could also play the role of elemental support, purely due to her ability of applying stigmata debuffs while keeping the main DPS on the field. Jing Shenhan T and M with Isaac Newton can be easily applied with her QTE, while Fuhar Margrave can be used preferably when she is at a higher rank, which allows her to have more initial SP and charge SP at a faster rate. Alternatively, Theresa Summerholic T and Himiko Summer Day M can take the places of Jing Shintan T and M. Though not necessary, the Super Sonata can be used in unison with Fuhua Margrave, while Saloon's Elegy can be used with the other elemental support options for a little bonus damage if either options happen to be available. Naturally, Starlit Astro Logos will work well with almost every DPS, but will of course work exceptionally well with burst mode Valkyries as they would normally have to spend an extended amount of time on the field. The activation of their burst mode also helps them gain hexagram stacks when they need it the most. For secondary support, 
Starlet as her logos encounters almost no restrictions as she does not utilize the impaired debuff, allowing her to stack buffs and debuffs with all other battle suits. A good example of a support team that can leave their main DPS on the field for almost the entire battle will be one with a mech DPS and the Divine Prayer as the secondary support. Especially on a single target, the Divine Prayer's ability, Divine Penalty, will be able to impair the target without her entering the field. She can equip the full set of Theresa Origins or Tesla Ban T with Ogier B and any M part that fits the situation for an innate physical damage buff to the team while she remains off the field. With all three members being of different types, Starlight Astrologus' secondary leader skill can be activated. Drive Kometa with Star Shredder Vikrant can also make an effective team due to Star Shredder Vikrant's active skill having the ability to apply the Isaac Newton B debuff even after she has left the field. Similar to the Divine Prayer, the type difference also works well with mech DPS battle suits. Against multiple enemies, Snowy Sniper at double S rank or higher can make a good addition to the team. Her ability to freeze enemies and cause them to take additional physical damage while having a low SP cost on her ultimate skill to accommodate Branya Slav B makes her a great support option. Naturally, a strong combination can be made up of both Starlight Astro Logos and one of the strongest physical support, the Celestial Him. This duo can deal with almost any kind of situation and can support just about any physical DPS battlesuit. With both supports having the ability to easily break shields, most bosses can be easily controlled. Having access to two wide area ultimates that can gather enemies can also help keep multiple enemies in a desired location by spreading out the timing each ultimate is used. Not to mention, if both signature weapons are used respectively, an increase in critical rate or physical damage can be used in rotation for prolonged fights. On the off chance she's used as an elemental support, Wolstan with Rode Amundsen's full set makes her great off-field secondary elemental support. Another elemental support who is able to buff the team's damage from off the field is Craig's Messer, who is able to increase the ice damage against enemies who have been slowed or frozen. She's also able to wield Blood Dance if available. All in all, Starlight Astrologus' QTE makes her an extremely versatile support. In addition, her ability to charge SP at an accelerated rate and her innate physical support skills make her an extremely valuable addition to physical teams. With her leader skill boosting the team's total damage instead of just physical damage, she adds great value even to elemental teams. Yeah.